Good morning. Time for a drink. What have we got on us? We've got some of that purified water. But I think we might start with some irradiated beer. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it's, it's probably going get, to get us going in the morning, don't you think? Oh, that's a... There is a kick on that. There really is. Uh, try going out this way. I mean, those guys might be expecting us to come out the other door now, so we'll try this one. Bubbles, glorious bubbles. I'm hungry to find one. Ah! Will you leave me and my dog alone? It's not okay. Ow. How many of these blasted people are there? Ow. I'm s oh, no, no, no. Stop shooting my dog. He's delicate. In fact, we all are. Right. Where's this blasted bobblehead? Oh, we're right close to it. Very close to it, in fact. It's... We're looking directly at it. So it's got to be... On the tower? In the house? One of the two? If only someone wasn't shooting at me, I could probably go do it. Bobble Hunt goes to... I don't know. Squirrel bits. Great. Oh, a mining helmet. That could be handy. Because I seem to be tunneling my way through these things. Ha! No? Just my little joke. Maybe not the best, but I don't really have time to work on them while there are people shooting at me. Right, stairs, that'll do. Let's see if we can go and find ourselves a way up. Oh, hello. Hello, kind sir. Why are you going to play with that? set one on fire. So that's a happy ending. Ah, last it reload. Why does this thing not reload automatically? Oh, he seems to be shooting my dog. Ah, uh, please shoot the dog, shoot the dog, shoot the dog. Good. A dick toll. Oh, now they're still taking pot shots at me from somewhere else. Where are you? Ow. You know that got me in the bloody ear. I get rather freaked out by that individual or hallucination. I mean, I'm not saying I've been shot this much before, but green men appearing to improve my situation is, is, is welcome but unusual. I honestly don't know who's shooting me. Oh God, bet you the bobbleheads in that bloody the house over there. Ow! Seriously, where are you? At least of the good nature to stick your head out and invite me out for dinner before taking more pot shots at me. Right, how do we get in this thing? Apparently we don't get in this thing. Apparently it's completely cut off from the world. As am I. Alone, apart from a dog. I cut a lonely, bobbleheadless figure. No, I don't quit. Not when there's a bobblehead at stake, quite frankly. Aha! I can smell it. I can smell bobble. Oh, of course, of course, the door's on the other side. Of course, anything else would be fun. There. Missed. Got him. My ow, although I've just been shot in the head. Turns out when you face someone and take shots at them, they like to face you and take shots back. Oh, I, I think he got me in the bloody eye. Ah, I, feel, I think I, I've been shot in the bloody eye. That's not okay. And I've got a horrible feeling I might be out of stimpacks. 
Uh, I've got a little terminal here. Anything I can do with it? Spotlight control. No, that's that's really not what I was hoping for. Am I really out of stim packs? Because it's it's not the greatest thing to go into a, a battle. Oh no, uh, when one's been shot in the eye. You know what? I'm so sick of shooting these idiots. I'm going to go up and get him myself. You're a very rude man. You're not welcoming to strangers. You're not going on my Christmas card list. I will not be sharing a tipple with you. And in fact, we may well be sharing rather cross words. And that got my... I think there's no blood on my suit. Where are you? Come on, indeed. This is over. Really? It's just uncalled for. Ooh. But he has got a rather natty neck wrap. Oh, do you know? Oh, do you know? Ah, last look. There's the bloody bobblehead, and I'm still getting shot. I'm just going to grab it, bloody thing. Yes, there it is. Isn't it wonderful? Ah. Look, they've even got a little detail on the spanner. Voltec logo, glorious head. Wonderful. It, it's it's a thing of beauty. But it almost wasn't worth the bloody trouble of coming here. I keep got repeatedly shot in the head. You know, we, we, I, I tend to like these. Oh, God! Ugh. Ugh. Really? I tend to like these Ugh. episodes of Bobblehead Hunter to be cultural. And if, I'm just a little bit concerned that it's more turned into a massacre. And now I seem to be entertaining the viewers by jumping, playing parkour off a bloody factory. Ugh. Which is almost as absurd as surviving a nuclear explosion in a fridge. Ah, Right. I think we can safely say that we earned that bobblehead more than any other bobblehead I've ever earned in my bloody life. But maybe that's just a sign of the times here at, uh, in the Commonwealth. But, oh god, they're still shooting, but we're very nearly out of there. Ah! Ah! I think, I think we've done it. I think we've lost them. I think we're free. We'll duck down, we'll hide out. It turns out that an awful lot of people seem to want to kill me right about now. Um, there are other bobbleheads to collect, obviously, but uh, we seem to be in a spot of bother. Uh oh. And the problem with this whole place... Oh, gosh. Look, there's someone... There's at least one person above my head. Maybe two. I think I'm just going to... Back out of here. Because, um... Well... I don't really want to die. Uh... I mean, of course, if anything is worth dying for... Obviously a bobblehead. Obviously. But it's just not really... Going to make for the best possible TV viewing for the viewers of Bullhead. I mean, that said, as we know, old Herbert, my wonderful brother, ah, oh, uh, fell down. Did meet, probably met his end, uh, collecting bobbleheads. And if you're going to go, well, collecting bobbles is the way to do it. However, ah, oh, hello, boy. Good to see you made it out of there all right. But that said, you can't have an endless set of hosts failing to survive their bobblehead collections. Otherwise, no one will want to, well, you know, collect bobbleheads in the future. And then what would, what would children do then? Right, well, we've said it was rather a beastly area. A vega plant. It was horrible. So, um... 
all things considered, uh, if we have a look at our little mapazoid here, uh, there's some that Diamond City place that that uh, crazy lady was talking about is down here, and there may be rumours of another bobblehead here. So if we head across to where the train line intersects with this, head it south, cross the river, hopefully we'll come across that, and hopefully less people will be trying to kill us, and hopefully. Oh, it's a car, a ladder, a couple of skeletons. Hello, excuse me. Ah, that Molotov cocktail. It's a shame they put the car the, the kerosene already in that. Otherwise, that spoils what would have been a very good morning, very good morning drink. Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. And uh, no. and you know what? I can't actually see the train line. Oh wait! No, no, no! It's here. It's here. Oh, look, and some of the original, the original fencing is is uh, actually here. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, speaking of original fencing, there is, we get the opportunity to fence with a couple of dogs. You know, and speaker, get up. A bit of dog on dog action. A bit of do I have to say, I'm a bit more progressive. I'm not sure I agree with the old dog baiting thing. So if you could just stay away from my dog while I reload, that would be super. Oh! Oh. Well. Dog meat appears to have just. Shoot him, but anyway, uh, no, I say, can't really dog me. That's a horrible word. Marmaduke, much better. But th this little fence here reminds me of a, a, a book I once read. It was it, it was called uh, Mole Rat Proof Fence. Uh, see, when uh, my uh, parents were growing up, they uh, had a settlement, and uh, a bunch of settlements actually. Oh, oh, there's a graveyard. Oh, that's a. Oh, no, 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 Marmaduke, 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 no, 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 Oh, dear, no, no, no. Now, it's all gone horribly wrong. This poor gentleman was paying his respects. And now, and now he's gonna, well, he's, he's, he's gonna join his friend in there. Oh, dear. No, no, now I feel bad. I do, I do, I genuinely, genuinely do. He, 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 he wasn't, he wasn't causing me any problems, and he wasn't causing the world any bother, and, and now his head is... Well, well, here, I think if we, 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 I think we should do the decent thing here. Oh, dear, his, oh dear, his head's, oh no, his head's rolling around. It's not good, but we should probably do the decent thing, and uh, we could kind of put him in the grave, like with his chum. It's probably, it's, it's the only decent thing to do, really. Just kind of lay one on, on top of the other. There you go. I'm sure, I'm sure that's what they would have wanted. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yes, yeah, so they introduced mole rats to the, the settlements where my parents grew up, and uh, but the mole rats started breeding and, uh, and eating the crops and uh, killing the locals and uh, oh dear, oh no, ow, oh god, oh Jesus, there's a there's a ghoul and an explosion. What's going on? I can't see anything because of the bush. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, it's, it's a, uh, there's a lot of radiation. Ghouls and radiation. I think all in all. Stay away from there. Beastly. Yeah, that factory looks quite a lot nicer now. Now I'm not getting killed by it. Is there something in there? Is it worth having a little look? I think that's probably whatever just blew up. Oh, look, it's someone's arm. Yes, and I'm currently getting irradiated. I can't crack the safe. So, let's get out of here. In fact, when I say irradiated, I mean boiled. Ah, that, 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 that's actually stinging quite a lot. I think we might have to deal with that one straight away before I start growing extra heads again. Did that once before. It was very awkward. All my friends had to, uh, had to vote which, uh, which, uh, which head they wanted to keep. Uh, which, and uh, they didn't, and uh, they, they, they disagreed, uh, with each, with each other. Uh, quite a lot, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not it's not a pleasant sight having one's friends vote on whether they wanted to keep you around or, or which head they want to keep around. In. It's, it's, it's all a little bit doggy dog, you know. No, no offense to the old matter. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need, need another one of them, aren't I? You know, it's actually rather beautiful in its own way. 
Not exactly picturesque, but there's a strange serenity to the to the chaos. Oh, Grey Garden. That's uh, we heard about this place. This was the, uh, the the guy was like I said, it's all run by robots. And look, indeed, robots. It is in fact all run by ro run by robots. Mr. Gutsy is a militarized oh. variant of General Hello? Atomics, ubiquitous Mr. Handy. The old chaps kicked it. By the United States Army in 2077. Oh, really? The pressing need for more firepower on all the fronts of the Sino-American War. Well, let's not let's not upset him then, right? Prolific worker into one of the most lethal combat robots ever designed. A combination of a small, heavily armored body, eyes on articulated arms, and up to three independently targeted weapons for use at every range make it an adversary not to be taken lightly. Not then, and certainly not now. No, 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 very Most popular. Oh, he hasn't finished? He's, he's, he's still talking. Hostile. Right. Due well, this one doesn't seem to be. The underlying programming that defaults it to patrol mode in case it cannot connect to central command. The colorful sergeant major personality is an aesthetic touch, though the gutsy's proclivity toward shouting insults at the enemy is a weakness, allowing combatants to locate it with ease. The loadout <laughs> of the gutsy makes it a prized robot for scavengers and organized factions, such as the gunners. Ah, well... I, I, I mean, I have, I've had a bit of gutsy uh, insult me before, but not, he hasn't tried to kill me. But yes, I suppose that isn't it. Does rather give away your position if you're yelling profanities at the enemy. I think it might be worth having a little chat here. You know, we've got the uh, old, uh, the viewers. It would be very interesting to see unusual things as we go. Hello, I'm a, uh, I'm Hugo. Uh, uh, oh, well, you, you almost sound like a game show host. Do you have a show of your own? I'm a, I, I do Bobble Hunt. That's the correct answer. Well Star. Done. Oh, did it? Was it? Gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize he's won? Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. 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 What, what did I win exactly? Ah, uh, wonderful. Uh, 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 it's good. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize. Oh, oh. Yeah, uh, Marmaduke, we've, we've won something. I don't know what for doing what. Where's he gone? Oh, he's down here. Yes? Yes, what, what did we win? You just... You just lost interest in me and, and, and walked off. I've won nothing? Apparently I've won nothing. But still! Oh, some mud fruit. Thank you very much. It's a brand new car! Oh, I want a ca A car? I want a car? Oh, you mean this? It's a brand new car. I think it was a brand new car. Right. Anyone else around? This is, this is all like little robots running a, running a little settlement. Robot and robot, you know, man living peacefully with man and dog with dog and everything. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. Oh, thank you. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility run entirely by robots. Oh, that's very cool. So th there's not even like just one person here at all. That's right, darling. We are entirely self-sufficient, with no need for human guidance. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision-making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Well, uh, the man was obviously brilliant to come up with something like this. A sociological experiment. It, it, it's almost like Big Brother for robots. You know, big droid or, 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 or something. I could hardly have said it better myself. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Well, yes, 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 you, 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 it's definitely unique. I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it, just when you think the television is, 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 is gone, 
Uh, here you are, and, and, and you being kind of femme fortale. It, it, it's it's hard to miss. You know, the guy outside gave me a well a car of, of a description, and, and you obviously have some sort of you know dial link. You know, it's like a Black Widow esque style of a of a of of, of, of the ambiance. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, it's Bender's one, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. The question, really. Tell me, darling, what do you think of the water around here? The water? Uh, well, I, I mean, I don't tend to drink the stuff unless it's, uh, you know, at least got 5% proof on it. But why are you interested in my opinions on that? Ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This uh. will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. Uh, well, I'm not really, you know, gun for hire or anything, but, but, but I mean, I can't, can't, can't uh, say, say no to a, a lady, even one... Uh, as uh, androgynous as droidinous as you, what exactly do you need me to do? Most of our water comes from the old western plant south of here. Such a nice Right. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Oh, uh, rather suggestive, but uh, well, I'll, I'll see what I can do if I'm in the area. Although, as we all know, the priority is the bobbleheads. Well, dear viewers, that was. Oh, sorry, excuse me, I seem to have stepped through your mushroom. There you are, dear viewers. There is our uh, uh, a little unique taste for today. Sadly, of course, the only taste I was able to give you yesterday was the taste of uh, endless violence. But, uh, this time, a, a society run entirely by droids. And look, not even one of them has managed to nuke their own society repeatedly. Well, we could even have a lovely picturesque bridge shot as we go past. I might ask the editor if he can, like, uh, put in a kind of a scenic drone as we kind of go here, and I'll kind of narrate something deep and meaningful about bobbles and their place in society and... How robots could never invent something as uh, unique as that. What is anything under the water? Oh, look, an old rowing boat. Isn't that quaint? I do love messing about in boats. Tails up, bottoms down, all that kind of stuff. I think we're probably getting quite close to where we're headed. Uh, down here, fine medicine uh, bobblehead. You know, where, where, did, where did she want us to get? Troubled waters, where was that? Nope, no anywhere. She wanted us to help with her medical issue. Oh, it's here. It's over on the uh, east, somewhere over there. Well, no bobbleheads that way, I'm afraid. That's interesting industrial thing there. Not sure I necessarily wanted to go into any more factories today after my previous experience. Uh, so we need to go to the road. Turn left and it should be ahead of us. Hello! Uh oh. Missed. Oh! Jesus! What a wonderful shot, sir! Do you know? I might be, uh going out of one here, but basically there's, there's there's two options. Either I'm going crazy and I'm hallucinating a strange green man that keeps coming up to say hello, or uh, Herbert has been playing silly buggers. I mean, Herbert always loved a good uh, a good fedora. Uh, maybe Oh, we're alright. This one, the locals seem to be friendly. Hello! What a lovely t-shirt! Rognak the Barbarian. How are you? We could really use your help. Uh, right. Uh, uh, 
what, uh, what, what do you need? Something nasty living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some new trouble. And what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. And in fact, I know some folks that love to set up there if you're safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. Uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure this is necessarily uh, my angle, I'm afraid. So, uh, I, I mean, I'll see, I'll, I'll see what I can do. No promises. Uh, and if I swing back this way, I'll... I'll, I'll put out the word. We were kind of at the end of our rope. Right. Yes. Well. You know, it's rather sad. You know, there seem to be a lot of people that are in a. Well, they're a little bit destitute, really. It's 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 rather sad. But there's a lot of needy people, and you know, someone should help them. Someone should, you know, stand up to the mark and you know, do what needs to be done. Not me, obviously. My role here is purely as an independent observer, here to document and take bubbles. Ooh, another train. Looks like this one was having issues even before the war with the with the woods. The weather's not good here. Oh look! Looks like there's someone under the train. Oh, looks like there's someone alive under the train. Oh dear. And there, Her Herbert, really? I got it. Thank you, Marmaduke. Excellent distraction techniques. Well, nothing like a nice ghoul attack to keep us on our toes. Why on earth would a ghoul need a hairbrush when they haven't got any hair? I mean, come on. That's just silly. And a plastic spoon. I mean, don't they only eat brains? Why would you need to eat brains with a spoon? Still. It is not ours to reason why. It is ours to shoot them in the head and hope they uh, don't come back for more. Uh, right, we needed to turn left at the road, which I believe is how. Fascinating architecture of the place. Good quality trees. Any kind of mushrooms here? Huh? You know, no nothing, nothing pickable. Uh, you know what? I think. Backing up rather quickly might be the thing to do. There's looming out of the mist. Does look a little bit, you know, gorilla in the mist, yes, but I've got a feeling it's not actually a gorilla. Uh Right. Hold it all together, little dogster. I think we may have bitten off more than we can Chew! Are you alright? Are you okay? Step back to the ready. I think we just triggered something here. This could be an issue if they're getting nearer. Ow. Ow. Ah. It's not good. I can't believe I just trod on a mine. It's embarrassing. I remember one of the first things Herbert said to me before he went off on his adventure. He said, Hugo, don't step on a mine. Ah, look at this bigger. Must have triggered it there. You can see all the scorch marks. And I said to him, I said, I'll only do that if I end up legless. <laughs> and then, and then we laughed for, for a long period of time. And uh, it, was, it was a nice time. It was a, a, a special memory. And now here I am, trodden of mine, broke my leg, and I've had to use a stim pack to replay the bloody thing. These things happen. No, I do wonder what those strange creatures were we saw looming. I mean, they, they must have been, I don't know, seven feet tall? Would that be an exaggeration? I don't know, but they were, they were large. I mean, I mean, really large. Looks like we need to go up there. Doesn't seem to be an easy way up, and I don't fancy climbing up all of these rocks. There they are. They are still there, but they seem to be flocking the other way. What do you think, Marmaduke? Do you think that chap in the green is is Herbert playing silly buggers, or am I just losing it? I have drunk a lot of that shine recently. Probably isn't that good for the old noggin after, is it? Can't see a way up to the 
east side. Now, really, really would like to keep my distance between me and those chaps over there. Well, they might, might don't want to be sexist. I mean, they might not be chaps. Could be chap s's. Just going on the uh, evidence of the uh, bald head and extreme masculinity, or, or muscularity, perhaps is a better, better phrase. Right. Where are we? So that's a rather bizarre question. I don't know where I am. I'm here. That's all I need to know. Can I smell bobblehead? I don't know. Maybe maybe something on the breeze. Maybe. It's subtle though. If it's if it's near, then it's south. But uh not really seeing anything. Oh, hang on. Pip Boy seems to have picked up something. It's saying it's a vault. Oh, look, and there's a Vault Tech uh, logo. How do you know? I think we've found another one. Although we were burned on the previous one on account of there being no actual goodies in it. Anyone seen a door? Vault door, anyone? I mean, the last one was kind of in the floor. It wasn't particularly hidden, but it was a brain fungus. Do you know? This is actually rather nice if you grind it up and and uh, and drink it. Door, anyone? Oh, look, there's a... Look at that. There's a... Entrance is probably down there. Well. Well, look at this. Our second vault in is almost, almost as many days. You know, some people go through their entire lives and never... Oh, my God. It's a, it's a mint copy of Blast Radius. Oh, Blast, what a game. What a game. Well, at least this one's slightly better hidden than the other one. At least it's a slight cave entrance as opposed to the, uh, the last one, which is basically a heavy pad saying, get it here. Uh, oh, and this one's got a door as well. So that, that that's definitely one up on the other. Right, let's see if we can jimmy the whole thing working. If we, we could plug our, uh, try and plug the pit pad in. Uh, yes, it, it, it does seem to interface a little bit, and uh, I guess we'll press the old button, and uh... Hold it right there. Oh. Vault 81 security. Hello? I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy. Uh, well, I got it's free from... Talking. It came with Nuka-Cola. I, I... But really? The vault's still up and running? That's amazing! I, I, it's, it's, it's amazing! It's absolutely amazing to find a working vault with people inside it. Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pip boy. Uh, well, it's it's actually a a, a pip pad, I, I I guess. But why are you so interested in in, in the contents of my of my electronics? Like, scavengers and traders passing by the entrance. Everybody wants to get at the shiny red button. But you're the first one to try it with a working pip boy. Now where'd you get it? I I don't know. I think I think I think it was a. a I think, I think it came from free from a Nuka Cola thing, which I, I, I seem to remember. Uh, someone got from uh, one of the other vaults. Of, uh, was it Vault 95? I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't go there myself. It was given to me our family member. Probably Vault 95, but I'm really not sure. Honestly, I'm, I'm so sorry. I haven't heard of that one yet. And well, what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Oh, well, uh, uh, I just look, well, I, 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 I do a TV show, it's called Bobble Hunt, and I, I hunt for bobbles, uh, but I, I guess if you want to put me in a more kind of general category, I guess, I, well, I guess I'm a traveller, you know, I do uh, uh, travelling shows, so just take a look around and maybe trade for some, for some bobbles, really, I mean, that, that's all there is to it, nothing, nothing sinister, I'm afraid, sir. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh. Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Man. Hello? Some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Hello? Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh... Partners, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Right, well, but but uh, well, uh, 
Well, I, 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 it's a bobblehead, really, but I, I guess it depends. I, I, what exactly is it that you need? Uh, we, can we not do a kind of an exchange, yeah? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. Right. Okay. Well, I suppose I could, I could have a look for them while I'm kind of traveling around. I mean, I've come across one or, or, or two already. Okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll get you the fusion cores, and then you will provide the bobblehead. Deal? Good. You can contact Officer Edwards through the intercom when you're done. It's a simple enough task, but good luck. Right. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a little mission of sorts. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, Marmaduke. Uh, I, I know, I know. I, I thought we were going to get a, a, a bobblehead here as well, but these, these people are trying to keep themselves safe, and, you know, they have a right to do so. And here they are, safe behind this old... Uh, strange marking on the vault there. Um, straight, you know, here they are, keeping themselves safe behind this door, and they don't want to chest on anyone, so they want to do a bit of tit-for-tat, a bit of trade-for-trod, and... I can, I, I, can, I can appreciate that. Oh, they even left me a Nuka Cola cherry. Not as good as a bourbon, but it'll do. Anyway, I guess the uh, quest for a bobble has gone a bit thicker. <laughs>